Welcome to the Unleashed Podcast. If you're looking for a no BS approach to building a successful business, then this show's for you. I'm your host, Christina Sholin, sharing an unleashed, real straight talk approach to life and business. So buckle up, put on your big girl panties, and let's get started. Hello, and welcome back to the Unleashed Podcast. I'm your host, Christina Sholand. Today, we're talking about the F word. The F word. How many came here thinking, oh my gosh, is she going to say it? Fear. It's a different one. But it's just as bad. It's so negative. It holds us back. Everyone has experienced it. Everybody still experiences it probably every day to a certain extent. Now, what I ask is when you were little, were you afraid to walk? No, you just did it. You were learning. How many times did you fall down? You don't know because it didn't matter. It never held you back. You didn't care about falling. That was a form of failing, but it never held you back. It never stopped you from walking. You always got right back up and you kept at it and you never gave up. Once you learned how to walk, you learned how to run. How many times did you bite it? How many times did you fall flat on your face? You don't know. Exactly. Your goal was just to run. We all have fears, but it's how you face it that makes all of the difference. So for some, it's public speaking, there's failure. Some people are scared of success. Like, what is that about? You're scared of success? Maybe they're scared of success because they're scared of reaching a level of success and then losing it. Who knows? Yeah, they're scared of loss. What you should be afraid of is not growing. It's not moving forward in your life, right? Now, if you're an entrepreneur, this is something that's very familiar to you. You see opportunity everywhere you go, but maybe your fears hold you back from it. Do you know what I was scared of? I was so scared of doing this podcast. My first one that I recorded, do you know how bad I was sweating? And nobody was even on because I was recording it. I didn't do anything live. I was so scared. Why? Do you know how many times a day I talk to people? Do you know how many times a day I work with people with whether it is, you know, helping them out in their business, growing their business? Today, I worked with somebody building her business plan for 2020. Why would I be afraid of that? Okay, we're all afraid of something. And what do we have to do? We just have to push through it. Do you realize what would have gone through my mind had I walked away from doing a podcast because I was scared to talk into the microphone? I would sit there for the rest of my life thinking, what if I had done that? Who on the other end of that microphone who's listening to this, who would it have made a difference for? What could I have done to help somebody else reach a different level in their life, and yet I walked away from that microphone because I was scared. I mean, really, it's so silly. You know, you've heard fear is a liar. It really is. I don't remember what the acronym of it, you know, what the words are for the acronym for it, but it really is fake. It's something you can't even see. It's all of these things that are in your head that hold you back, and it really comes down to You have to just move forward. Oh my gosh. I remember, (laughs) my goodness. Okay, I wasn't planning on telling this story, but this is perfect for fear. When I was, oh my gosh, this was many years ago. It was probably 15 years ago or so. And I was with a party plan company and I was doing my first party and I had to speak in front of all these people. Now, let me tell you that all these people added up to four. (laughs) There were four people there, and I was so scared. I would think I I was sweating so freaking bad. I I had to wear a jacket, though, because I thought if these people see me pitting out, it's going to be terrible. 
So I got past it. I got through that party. And do you know that those people are still to this day friends of mine? And I didn't know them back then. Those people became friends of mine. I'm still part of their family. They're still part of, in fact, literally they're part of my family because one of <laughs> one of their sons married my cousin. But I still know these people. They're amazing people. But I got past that fear. Had I not done that, I wouldn't know those people. Had I not just done that, I probably would have never started my journey into business. That was my first real thing that I did, you know? And then I started doing more parties. And then, you know, like I thought it was really cool because I had parties where there was like 12 to 15 people and I felt comfortable in talking to all those people. So one time it was almost four years ago. I was asked by my company to speak on stage at a convention, and I spoke in front of 23,000 people. Yeah. Talk about, I think I just threw up in my mouth and I don't know if I can go up on stage. It scared the crap out of me. Like it literally, it scared the crap. I shouldn't say literally, huh? It scared the crap out of me. I went up on that stage. I had no choice but to face that fear. And I'm going to tell you this. I got up on that stage. Now, I did not know what I was going to speak on because they didn't tell you that. They wanted it to be raw. They wanted it to be real. I got up there. I said my thing. When they asked me the questions, I just answered them. I told my story. And, you know, I went into a little bit more. And I know that I made an impact for several people. When I say several, I'm talking hundreds. I saw that some of the things that I had said were in the top five things that people took away from that two-day convention. And I was like, oh my gosh, good. Because I got past that fear those people wrote down notes because of the things that got me through the hard times in business, the hard times in my life to be able to build my business and get to where I got to. That's what you have to do. You just got to face that fear because something amazing could be coming out of it. You don't know who you can impact. You know, there are so many of us who fear judgment. We fear the judgment of others. And that holds us back from doing something that could be amazing. And even when I talked on that stage, I was afraid of being judged, although I had a really smoking hot pair of shoes that I built my outfit around. And I thought, oh, nobody's even going to be looking at my face. They're going to be looking at my shoes. (laughs) But what I'm saying is the judgment of others cannot hold you back because the judgment comes from them judging themselves. Because think about it. Okay, if you're listening to this and Public speaking scares the crap out of you, and maybe you just have been asked to talk in front of a crowd, but you're afraid of people judging you. Do you know what the people in that audience are thinking? The people in that audience, they wish they were in your shoes. They're listening to your words. What I had to tell myself before I got on that stage, I'm like, there's not one person in that audience out there who is judging me right now. They wish they were in my position. I was asked to be here for a reason. I was asked to speak to these people for a reason. Those people out there aren't judging me. They're not judging my story. They're listening and they would love to be in my shoes. You have something in you that can help somebody else. You know, I had my back against the wall. I was always worried and scared of losing my house. I was worried about getting my power shut off. I was failing in front of my kids is exactly what I thought, but I was really afraid of what they were going to think of me. And if I had laid down and just let life bulldoze over me, what kind of example would I have set for my girls? And... Even more so, how would I feel about myself? You know, I would have felt really crappy about myself and setting a really, really low example for my girls to be looking at me and saying, wow, you know, 
Mom, the lights won't turn on in the bedroom. I was scared. My fear of going out and telling people that I had a new business, that, (laughs) I felt that fear and I did it anyway. I had to really put myself in check. There were a lot of things that I was afraid of, but my faith was way bigger than that fear. I was like, you know what? I am going to own this. The power did not get shut off. My power didn't get shut off because I busted my ass to make sure that that power bill was paid. I busted my ass to tell everybody about my new business opportunity. I busted my ass to tell everybody about the new product that I was sharing with everyone. I wanted everybody to feel this way, blah, 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 blah. I was getting it out there and I was scared. But what I was not going to let happen is fear was not going to win. Fear was not going to take over my life. I was not going to roll over and let it just plow over me. I was going to take charge. Now, have you ever played sports? And you know that nervous feeling before a game? You know, the nerves are all over the place. You feel sick to your stomach. You got the butterflies and everything. And did you ever just walk away? Did you ever just say, hey, I don't want to play today. I don't feel good. My stomach hurts. No, you played anyway. Sometimes you won. Sometimes you lost. But what did you learn when you lost? You know, maybe you beat yourself up because you knew what you did wrong. But guess what? You didn't make that mistake again, right? So you learned how to better yourself and make yourself stronger for that next game. If you don't get in the game, you don't know if you would win or lose. So you got to get out there and play. And like we just mentioned above, when you lose, you learn from the loss. You gain knowledge, you gain strength, and a way to move forward and win next time. So really, is that really a loss? No. It's a lesson to be learned, and that's where you still win, okay? So if you quit or just make the decision to not do it, that's the guarantee of not moving forward. That's the guarantee of losing. That's a guaranteed failure. Guaranteed loss. What I want you to do is make a list of the goals that you want, those things that you want to achieve. What are you passionate about? How many lives can you impact with the thing that you're passionate about? I have a friend, she's on this health and fitness journey, and I met her a little over a year ago, and it was right when she very first began. She was overweight, and you could tell she was such a sweetheart. But she just had those insecurities and she started on her fitness journey. Well, first she started with health and wellness regimen. It started giving her energy. She started feeling amazing. And then it gave her energy to where she started working out. She started walking. She started doing more things to get fit. She has lost, since I met her, she's lost 90 pounds. She's on this journey to lose 80 to 90 more pounds. Today, we were talking about a business strategy and how she can turn her journey into a business where she can have another stream of income. And she's got these goals because she knows, like she's got a group on Facebook where she does all of these challenges and everything. And I'm like, you need to become a health coach. Like, you're there. You've lived it. You're living it. And I said, you walk the walk and talk the talk. And it's amazing what she can do. And she really wants to help other people. So her goals for this year, she wants to start a nonprofit and work with kids. We've got a crisis in our country. So she is starting a nonprofit where she can help young kids who have those issues and those struggles with their health and eating habits, she's going to help them make better choices, educate them on knowing more. And then she's going to be a health and fitness coach on another side and be able to do some coaching and be able to have a steady stream of income on that side 
outside of doing the nonprofit. So it's something that she's so passionate about and she wants to change lives. That's what you can do. Find what you're passionate about. Find what you can do that can help other people grow. So like what I do is I'm talking to people. We're doing a business strategy. We're talking plans. We're talking, okay, let's get these in order and let's break down and map out your journey to success. I love doing that. You know, her passion is bigger than her fear. When I was talking to her, she wasn't even afraid. She questioned. She's like, man, do you think I could really be a coach for you know, do you think I could, um, yes, absolutely. Because you know it. Like these are things that you experience. These are things that you know. What are you good at? Are you good at motivating people? Are you good at helping people better their lives in a healthy way? Yes. So make your passion bigger, stronger, and more powerful than your fear. And that fear won't have shit on you. You will own your life and you dominate over fear. It won't even exist. Thank you again for listening to the Unleashed podcast. I look forward to sharing another day with you, and I hope you left this podcast feeling inspired, and you go out and own that day. God bless. Have a blessed day. Thank you for joining me today on the Unleashed podcast. My hope is that you leave this podcast feeling inspired, fired up, and ready to take the next step to living your dream life. And if you could do me a quick favor, please leave me a five-star review over on iTunes. I love reading the reviews, and each week I'll choose one special person to win some Unleashed Sway. Make sure you add your name to the review, and I'll reach out to you if you're the winner. Thanks again for spending your time with me today. Be sure to visit me at ChristinaUnleashed.com for past episodes and more gifts to help you unleash the most successful version of you.